my dear sagittarius hi hello how are you welcome to your reading my name is sabbath welcome to sabbath tour i have a new story and we have the manifest card what are you manifesting let's see i feel like you're manifesting a lot here <laughs> this reading is going to be for the month of march sagittarius we're going to be tapping onto your energy and see what messages there are this deck was really calling me so I decided to go with it. I will be doing a new poll probably today to see what your ideas are for the next new series that's coming up. Hey, so let's begin. Spirit, what is the energy for Sagittarius and what is coming through, please? What is the energy? 30 months of March for Sagittarius. Oh, busy busy we have as your first card sagittarius storm okay <laughs> we have bright and celestial wow such vibrant colors within your reading shades of purple pink we have here very vibrant and colorful so let's get started and at the bottom of the deck for here we have return of spirit Mm -hmm. I mean, there's such rejuvenation energy about you. I feel like 40 month of March, it's almost like you're getting back on track. You are finding your way back to yourself is something I am sensing, Sagittarius. You could be regaining your strength more than ever. It's like, here I am. I am stronger than ever. I am much more powerful than I was and... I'm going to be starting anew, you know, there's definitely a strong energy of new beginning in your reading, which is lovely. So a lot of energy that you're going to be having for this month onwards, hey? Now with the storm card being here, I feel like Sagittarius, you could be a very, very passionate person. I can sense that you're full of ideas, you're full of creativity, you could be an artist or you could be an entrepreneur, you could have a particular business, you don't have to. Or this also could be something that you rather want to achieve, rather want to have. And the spirit here is telling you that it's time to finally pursue your dreams. It's time to finally pursue your dreams and go after what it is that you want and not be afraid to actually manifest what it is that you want. Okay, we saw the manifest card flashing at the beginning of your reading, which is a huge affirmation already. Now... There's going to be a lot of messages coming in. Hey, it could be that there's a lot of communication, movement when it comes to love for you. Not only love, but also career. I just feel like it's a very, very busy month. And what really draws people in, you know, and what really makes it easy for you to manifest whatever it is that you want is your vibration. I feel like you are a very, I keep hearing vibrant vibration. <laughs> vibrational it's like your energy is very high frequency and cheerful and i'm also tapping onto a little bit of femininity okay it doesn't matter your gender it could just be that you are very gentle you know maybe you smile at people maybe you bring a lot of joy um to people and you see good in people you know there's a certain energy of you being really positive and that could be also your advice, you know, to see good in things rather than to focus on the lack. So definitely manifesting a lot for the time being Sagittarius. Now, someone could be writing to you, okay? It's something I'm sensing. Someone could be writing to you. Someone could be connecting with you for this month, hey? And I feel like it's something about you. It's like this person can't be away from you. They want to keep texting you, calling you, seeing you frequently. I'm hearing frequent. It's like they want to be around you more and more and more. And it is because of your energy. It is because of the way you make them feel and the way you shine your light onto this person, I feel, okay? Now, for those of you that are completely alone or single, I am getting a message that you could, yeah, I'm hearing there's a high probability that you're going to be meeting someone unexpectedly, Okay, and this could be someone you're meeting online. This could be someone you are meeting very unexpectedly. I keep getting this energy. Some of it, this also could be someone who's coming to you 
because of your work. That's also very specific. You know, maybe they want to share ideas with you or work with you. All right. It doesn't have to be love related. It could also be career related. Now, we're going to do your tarot and see what's going on. So far, beautiful. I love these as shades of colors so much for you here. You definitely could be feeling very, very creative throughout this time, Sagittarius, and motivated, you know, inspired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm being called to go with that deck. Give me a minute. It's like opportunities come to you so naturally. You don't even have to try hard. Okay, it's like you're very much easily approachable. You could be very, very inviting. Yes. And I'm seeing a lot of new energy also coming in for you. Definitely, there might have recently been a shift in regards to your journey, your spiritual journey. A lot of ascension energy. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius? 40 month of March, please. What's happening for Sagittarius? Not, ooh, sexy energy. Knight of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. Spirit, what is the energy for Sagittarius? What are the messages? Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. I don't know why I'm channeling that song, Meet Me Halfway, or is it? Correct by Black Eye, Black Eyed Peas. Meet me halfway or something like that. That could be specific for some of you. So I have a bond deck here for you. We have the Queen of Pentacles coming through Sagittarius. All right, and the Knight of Swords. Someone definitely is pursuing you here. Okay, I feel like you are wearing that crown. You're in your throne. You're enjoying yourself. And it's almost like someone here is rushing towards you. Very, very unexpected energy. Very rather fast-moving energy coming in towards you. Okay, fire you could be connecting with strongly. Or this person could also be a fixed sign. Uh, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. All right, air energy and earth is coming through. Now, I keep hearing you will be pursued. Okay. 40 month of March, I feel like you're very focused on yourself. It, you could be very focused on your success, on your goals, on leveling up, on your growth, on movement, you know, taking action, discoveries I'm hearing. Some of you could be traveling, you could be moving, you could be meeting someone through traveling. But the spirit here is telling you that go with the changes, go with the waves, you know. I'm visualizing the tides and... I almost want to say go with the storm. So I don't know if you have been going through a particular transformation and you might have been finding it hard to rather, oh wow, now I'm visualizing a surfer, to rather manage or to rather stay on top of everything. But that's what I'm hearing, you know, go with the changes and do not resist the changes because I feel like therefore the better, you know, you might not understand why certain things happen, but trust me, you will, you know. Yeah, I keep hearing. Keep looking forward. Keep looking ahead. Keep moving forward, right? Now, I'm definitely going to be clarifying what's happening here for you. You have a lot of opportunities, a lot of choices. Letters A, T, P, L, R, as well as O here is coming through. All right. You, some of you, as well as E and N. Spirit, what is happening in regards to love for Sagittarius, please? What is happening in regards to love? And what is this energy? Who is this person that's coming in? We have to, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. King of Cups, the Knight of Swords, Heavens, and the Four of Wands. Someone here is in the pursuit of you, something I keep hearing, and... It could also be that they actually really love pursuing you. This person is a high achiever. This person is a go-getter, whoever it is that's coming through towards you. All right. I also feel like this person could be emotionally investing in you. Okay. Or it could be that they are rather becoming intimate with you. And when I say intimate, you know, I don't mean just sexually. I mean like emotionally. I mean <laughs> spiritually, you know, and... 
the way you're going to know who this person is coming towards you and whether their intentions are real and pure is by how much actually they want to get to know you on a deeper level. Like this person could actually remember things about you, Sagittarius. This person could pay a lot of attention to the details of things, you know, but I'm tapping onto very emotional energy coming in. Very much. I would, I would even want to say they're more emotional than you, <laughs> but that's kind of how it's coming through. It's like this person would do anything for you, you know, and, um, they have a sense of deep sense of respect here for you, but, um, yeah, this is like someone who wants to take you off the market. It's like, I don't want you to be like with anyone else. I don't know if you're dating this person right now or if you're not yet exclusive. But that's the kind of energy I'm seeing. It's like this person's rather a little bit possessive, you know, but in a good way, you know, in a sexy way. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm with the four of wands, I feel like. It could be that you have been really desiring safety and stability and a sense of peace when it comes to love for yourself. It's like, you know what? I want to be with someone that I don't have to constantly second guess myself with. It's like, I don't have to constantly worry whether this person likes me or loves me or not. Rather, I know that they love me, you know? So it could be that you're definitely manifesting something very, very peaceful. You're manifesting a connection that's going to be very stable. And I'm going to tell you, I feel like someone definitely could be coming in to ask you something. There could be a proposal I'm hearing coming in for you, which is going to be very life-changing, I'm hearing. All right. <laughs> it could be from the of ox, rooster, horse, some of you, rabbit, we have dog as well as tiger and dragon. Yeah. All right. Could be, could be them. Mouse as well, I'm hearing. Spirit, any advice or any future actions before I do oracle messages for Sagittarius? Take it easy, I'm hearing. Take it easy. Especially if you've been used to chasing after love. If you've been um, not used to having someone put as much effort as you. The spirit here really is telling you, flip the script. I don't know why I'm hearing it right like that. But it's like, it's time for you to relax. It's time for you to finally sit in your throne, you know? Yeah, take it easy. I keep hearing. For our dear Sagittarius, any advice, any messages here? Do we have for... Yes, temper. <laughs> this is your energy. This is your card. A lot of health, a lot of healing energy coming in. You see how she's actually dipping her toes in the water. I feel like, uh, yeah, there's a sense of rejuvenation. You being rejuvenated. You... Um, I'm visualizing, you know, how there's like a battery mode on a phone and it says like 100% fully charged. That's the kind of energy I see for you. It's like you're completely healed now. You're starting anew, you know, and you're way more wise than before. And you are also a very pure and positive soul. Um, it could also be that you're making healthier choices than before here, Sagittarius, and that you really are prioritizing your peace and making sure that peace is present within your connections. You know, maybe you're really listening to your body, but yeah, the energy of water could be really good for you. Some of you could be connecting with water, maybe a water sign, or you could have it within your chart, but I'm seeing this water energy. Maybe you're taking nice baths. Okay, maybe you're swimming. Something with water here is coming through. Okay. Any angel messages do we have for our darling Sagittarius? Something you could be losing weight. Or maybe you're changing something in regards to your diet. And yeah, I keep hearing make healthier choices. Don't feel bad to make the choices that you want to make. You know, don't make them for other people. Make them for yourself. And your own sense of peacefulness. Oh, wow. As I said that. <laughs> Do we have one more card for Sagittarius? That thing to hear right now for the month of March skirt. Whoop. A lot of cards for Sagittarius. One more card for Sagittarius. 
Okay, let's see. Two of Action actually came here as well. So definitely, you're not alone on your journey. There's people jo joining you. There's people wanting to help you and be there for you. And um, it's funny because I feel like some of you, it's almost like you're getting unexpected help or support from people. It's like you could be meeting with people that unexpectedly try to help you on your pathway, you know, that you didn't even expect to meet. <laughs> and they could really help you grow on your journey. Now, seven of action, emotion. Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. All right, so this is speaking about choices. You could have multiple options, multiple choices. There might be something you truly deep down want to do. And the spirit here is telling you, what are you waiting for? You know, um, go ahead and do it. And some of you, I don't know if there's pressure, if there's been pressure from people around you, or I don't know, for some reason, I'm wanting to say family members. That's very specific, maybe for some of you or people that you have known or interacted with. And there's an energy of you are your own person. Okay, you don't have to listen to anyone. You don't have to bow down to someone, especially if they're not on the same page as you, you know, especially if they're not able to understand you. And I'm, yeah, I'm hearing they're judgmental of you, you know, so there's a strong message of go your own way and you will never regret it because you're actually making this decision for yourself and never try to please anyone but yourself. Okay, maybe you have a hard time pleasing yourself and the spirit here is telling you it's time <laughs> to make yourself happy. Last card, two of action. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. Wow. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. There is opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Wow. You know what I'm getting from this card? I feel like some of you, you might have never actually had someone who supported you fully. Like perhaps you paired up, perhaps within your connections, you might have paired up with people that always wanted your help or rather were envious of you. And you know, this could be anyone. I'm not trying to blame or anything. It's just like, you might have been with people that were rather intimidated by your success or your energy. And the spirit here is telling you it's time to align with people that are actually on the same page as you, with people that actually see your success and want to add to it, with people that also want to be as successful as you want to be. You get what I mean? So yeah, a lot of positivity. And I see that energy of transition and redirection almost, you know, it's like, going into a new direction, the next phase, a lot of new energy, new, new, new coming in. Hey, so this is all I have for you. What a lovely reading. So refreshing. I hope that this helps you, darling. I'm doing personal readings for the month of March. If you're interested in having one with me, all you have to do is write to me to my emails in the description box. I'm sending my kiss, my warm embrace and my love and light. Take good care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, honey.